and we are excited to start the show with the newest members of the Milwaukee Bucks. We have AJ Johnson and Tyler Smith. Welcome to Kyle Bruston Ortman and welcome to the state of Wisconsin. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, and uh, we're excited to have you guys. We've got a couple of fun things planned. Uh, but what is your overall impression so far of Wisconsin? Because I know you haven't been here. You, you know some players that are in the NBA that are from here. But so far, it's been a couple, couple days plus. What do you think? I mean, I say it's a chill city yeah, so far from what chill. I see. Yeah, super chill for sure. Yeah. It reminds me a lot of my home uh, hometown, Fresno, but like super flat. Fresno, California? Yeah. Okay. Kyle, you're going to be the tour guide for uh, the yeah, young Yeah, yeah. So I'm born and raised in Milwaukee. And I remember I was just like y'all. I wasn't as tall or talented as y'all. But I understand, you know, what it is because you guys are going to D3 come football at, player with yeah, some bad yeah, knees. you know, D3 <laughs> football player. Well, we respect athletes around here. But I know what it's like to come of age in Milwaukee. But more importantly for you all, you're following the footsteps of great people like a Giannis who came at around the same age and grew into the giant that he is today. So I'm excited to see you all's journeys. But we'll make sure we take good care of y'all. And uh, so what we do want to know from you guys uh, to start here is uh, as it comes to your guys' career, right? You guys are young. I, you, I think you guys are aware. You guys, you guys make us even feel old as we're trying to stay young. But when you guys look at your future NBA career, we'll start with AJ here. And we'll go to Tyler. If you could envision what an NBA career would be like for you, what do you see? Uh... I'll probably see myself dominating in the league, of course, uh, being considered one of the most good players in the world, like later on down the line. Uh, a lot of wins, all-stars, everything, really. I like it. Uh, I mean, it incorporates the personal and team success. What about you, Tyler? I'll say I will be a um, a winner, for sure. Uh, hopefully five all-stars. Um, and considered probably... Like, conversation for a Hall of Famer probably won't. Oh, man, I love I like this. that. I, I like that. I love the mentality because, you know, we won a championship back in 2021. But overall, what I think about is we didn't know who y'all were last week. Like, literally a week ago, a lot of people didn't know who A.J. Johnson was. A lot of people didn't know who Tyler Smith is. And so when we look at this now, can you let us know each, when we look at a current player or a former player in the NBA, what would you compare your game to or who you aspire your game to kind of match and look like? Let me go first. Oh, yeah, I will probably say like a Shea... Uh, Tyrese Halliburton, Lamelo, like just like an aspect of just playing freely, confident, um, getting my teammates involved, just being exciting. You plan on being as cocky as Tyrese? You know he's from right up the way here in Wisconsin. You know yeah, you don't plan. He, you know we mad at him right now. Yeah, <laughs> we got to get payback. No, we're gonna get that payback for sure. I love it. I love it. How about you, Tyler? I say, I play. I think I play like Keegan Murray. Okay. Just shoot the ball. Uh, Raptors, Chris Bosh, versatile forward. You know. I love Powerful. That. I love that. I you love watch a lot that. of highlights? I hope so. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I sit and watch uh, the old All-Star games, and Chris Bosh used to be able to ball. Underrated. Now, I have a stack of papers in front of you guys. You probably don't don't know that yet. But what I want you to do is I want you to pick up the stack of papers because this is a little bit of a uh, trivia here. So what we're going to start is, there for you radio listening audience, we have A.J. Johnson and Tyler Smith. The don't And don't skip ahead. This is like a... Yeah. Uh, like class back then, you guys went right to, right, right to the. Uh, but they was know. in high school. They yeah, I mean, like they, I mean, a year ago, you can get through high school with just by showing up. Oh, you know? don't say that. These kids are intelligent. They worked hard, right? Um. So, <laughs> for the radio listening audience, there is a picture of a Milwaukee Buck. He's wearing jersey number thirty-four. Not named Giannis. Who is this man? Ray Allen. All right, good. Oh, wow. so, how, did, how did y'all know this? So, so you just know what he looks like? I mean, oh, yeah. yeah, right, right. Okay, we right, started right. easy. We started did easy. Did y'all know Ray Allen played for the Bucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, now. <laughs> Next on the video stream, we have a Milwaukee Bucks player, okay. number twenty-one. Yeah. Do Darvin we know him? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Does so, it look like him? Yeah, it yeah, does look like him. Yeah. Did you not know AJ? No, he's I, knew, good. I knew it started with a D, but I didn't know it was like Devin, Darvin. I didn't really know how to pronounce all the way. So. Well, you're going to get to know him. Yeah, you're yeah, going to no, get to know him. Trust me. Yeah. Our next image, AOL Instant Messenger. Do you know what this is or does or anything about it? No. Uh, Message people. Okay, okay, your context clue. Yeah, I'll take that. This was our, this is our iMessage. So you now know, Kyle, Kyle does the the Android. Can we boo him for that? 
You have an Android? You have an Android? Yeah, I do. Google Pixel? Who got a Google Pixel? No. Oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> no, he said no. <laughs> <laughs> you nah. know how y'all text people? This is how we used to text people back in the day. We didn't really? have phones. We can send away time. messages. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kyle, what does yours say back in the day? Uh, a, a, a lot of weird, crazy things, but you know, I grew up from that. <laughs> Dang. Um, <laughs> next on the list here, please tell me you guys know what this is. This is a uh, green machine to play game. game. Boy, yeah. yeah. You got Game Boy? No, but, but my you cousins I know about to. this. Yeah. You know about this. And what, yeah. what year were y'all born again? Just so everybody in our listening audience can know. 04. Yeah. 04. 2004. Damn, wow. I was 13. I was I was 14. <laughs> That's when I was driving uh, to AU basketball, listening to songs. I didn't know the lyrics and what it meant. And, <laughs> and they were just, you know, being born. So that's fantastic. The future of the Milwaukee Bucks. I love it. We now put up a picture of... Uh, you, 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 Tyler, how do you know this? Blockbuster. VSH. VSH. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. 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 no, no that's that's a, ding, ding, no, ding. No, it is VHS tape. You know. He said he VS. He said VSH. Oh, I mean, but we get points for even VHS. Knowing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so, like so oh. Tyler, Tyler, you must got. So you said cousins. You must got some cousins that are older. Yeah. That yeah, you yeah, kicked like it around. Twenty eight. Okay. So yeah, they kind of on the uh, the brink of that. <laughs> AJ, did you know? Did you know what this was nah, that we saw the tape? I mean, I knew what the tape. The tape like looked familiar, but I don't really know. <laughs> What is the blockbuster? You can play like movies off of this. What is the blockbuster? Movies. What is the blockbuster? <gasps> so y'all don't know what blockbuster is? I mean, I heard of it. Can you, you can blockbuster play movies movie on it, right? is like a place where you get your movies. Yeah, yeah it is. we got one of those in Houston. We oh, used to have okay. to uh, go yeah. and hope and pray that when the best movie that just came out, they would have the titles title of the movie, and behind it was the actual videotape. So you just had to pray that they had one that you could bring home to watch. Yeah, Me and my grandma Netflix. got Sandlot from there. Like we used to watch, I used to watch Sam a lot. So. This what, man is cultured. Yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> that's a cultured nineteen-year-old. I like this. Y'all ready? I like that. What we got next, man? Uh, last but not least, and I'd be shocked if y'all know this. The face from Tyler says it all. The last page. I don't think I got that. You got it after you. Blockbuster. You should. You, more. MP3 player. All right, I'll, I'll show. I'll show it up right here. MP3 player. <laughs> is he right? <laughs> no, you gotta oh, get one guess here. Damn. Oh, uh, oh, that's a PS3. No, that's like a Sony PS5, or something like that. He has something. A Sony PS5. They, they, <laughs> what, they don't see. Here's the thing. This is so you know how the MP3 player, right? Before MP3, y'all know CDs. This is a CD player. Oh, like you put the CD inside you of it and you C listen to and it. And you listen to it's it. Call yeah, a Walkman. Ancient, ancient right? Like, hey, who would do that? That's that's a good idea. That's tough. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Actually, maybe you guys would look really cool if you showed up before games with these on. People would respect you. Because they'd be like, man, that's like a classic. It's like a hassle, though. Like you got to take it out, put another song on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, every. I mean, that's. I mean, but it's like. That's a, the exact reason why we have uh, iPods on our phone now. That turned into phones. It is, a, it is an absolute hassle. I love this. You guys are making me feel young. Uh, all at the same time. Joined now by AJ Johnson and Tyler Smith, the newest Milwaukee Bucks. Um, who has been uh, the most instrumental in helping you guys so far throughout the process in the Milwaukee Bucks organization? I say the vet that's been there the most is Chris Middleton. Mm. Yeah, Chris Middleton has been talking to us a little bit. Yeah, like it, off the court, on the court, all yeah. the above. Yeah, off the court. Like my locker is right next to his, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What does it mean for you all to really come into an organization like the Milwaukee Bucks and have a Chris Middleton that you were watching on TV, to have a Damian Lillard that you were watching on TV? What does it mean to come into an organization that's already a good one, but then on top of that, to be around so many great vets that can teach you so much? No, no, it's definitely a blessing just to be around uh, vets like them. It's a team like this, like a winning team that uh, is really experienced and like the, one of the best teams in the league. So it's just like, uh, it's really a blessing just to be able to uh, go into an environment like this and learn from them. All right, so yesterday on our show, we had a conversation on what Kyle Wallace would do. We were talking about some guaranteed money that was going on around the NBA. Uh, Kyle would go right to bottle service. I like that sound, by the way. That was perfect timing for that. Kyle would go to bottle service if he signed his first contract, and everyone would be getting drinks, and everyone would know he played in the league. Because I was 21. Yeah, and then they're 19. Uh oh, yeah, they're because 19. Because I was 21, so they can't do that. <laughs> do you guys have a first purchase planned? I mean, I really got what I wanted when I was at overtime when I was 16. Like, I bought the Vui bag already, got a car. He said, oh, wow. Next thing to do is just buy a place out here. That's really it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was like the next yeah. person. Oh, wow. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you so you played for overtime uh, elite, elite? yeah. And so you already got the Louis bag in the car, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, what, so basically, you probably prepared. So this this newfound, well, it's going to be additional fame and additional yeah. money that you came. You're already ready for that because you've already experienced that and know how to handle all that, right? Yeah, yeah. 
that's that's exciting, mature. What about yourself, AJ? Yeah, no, I feel like I've gotten the things that I pretty much want, want, but you know, it's gonna be more things I want that I don't know that I want yet. But I feel like the next purchase for both of us will probably be like a place to live. We both in a hotel as of right now. <laughs> yeah, get y'all a place to live. Make some investments as well. Yeah, so make some gonna, investments. Set y'all up. They, I, I I played with the Bucks Summer League, and the worst thing I ever did was take the per diem in Vegas and go right to the tables. <laughs> Do opposite of Mr. Ben over here, all right? Ben Bruss, Kyle Is Wallace. Gambling? Uh, yes, gambling. That's gambling. <laughs> oh, shoot. They can't even gamble either. Oh, They're in good shape. They, you are in good shape. They're in great shape. All of my advice goes goes to hell now. Uh, but I do I do want to dig into a little bit about like y'all journey a little bit because you guys are new to Milwaukee and again you guys are going to be staples of the organization. That's yeah. the dream and that's the goal to be staples of the organization. And we talk about the journey. You talked about Chris Middleton, like I, hearing about his journey from Texas A and M and being I believe from South Carolina with the Pistons and coming to the Bucks and becoming a mainstay. Giannis, we all know his story. Like, can you guys talk about your journey from? high school, to going to Australia, to playing for overseas elite, to playing for the uh, G League. Can you guys just talk about that, AJ? Yeah, no. I mean, I started off uh, in Fresno, of course. Like, I grew up there. I ended up moving to L.A. like 15 years old just for, like, uh, more exposure to get my name out there and stuff like that. I started going to a lot of camps and tournaments and stuff like that, and I started to get my name out there. I started to... um, get up in the rankings and things like that. I ended up leaving high school at, like, top 20 in the country. Uh, yeah, I was committed to Texas, and I ended up choosing to decommit and go play overseas in the NBL. Uh, I thought it was just, like, the best decision for my development because at the end of the day, um, my goal is to be a great NBA player, and I just felt like taking that professional route early would give me the best chance to do that. So, yeah, I did that for 10 months, and then, yeah. Who, Tyler? Uh, I'll say my journey was pretty bumpy, man. Like, freshman year, COVID happened, so didn't play AU like that. Well, freshman year of high school? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Sophomore. Like, high school. He's 19. Yeah, they gra- to you, you, just, you were in high school. So COVID happened when you were in high school, and it's been that yeah. long ago. My goodness. So, like, everything just happened quick, like, super quick. Like, COVID happened freshman year, right before our playoff game. Had to finish that season. Then there was no AU. So, sophomore year, we couldn't go to school, just play basketball with the mask on. All season. Mm. After that, they made us go back to school the next year. I wasn't used to being in class for eight hours a day again. Yeah. So just two weeks in there, seeing overtime wanting me, I was like, I think this is the right fit for me. This is what I believe in, and this is what I want to do. So committed there and went there for two years, and then we'll take a night, develop there, and I'll— I'm in a league, so. Well, one thing I, I think it's worth noting here is in the state of Wisconsin, people obviously love all of their sports teams. Are you guys football fans? Oh, yeah, I would definitely be going to Green Bay games for sure. So, yeah. But he said, yeah. are you a sports fan? Because you say you're going to go, <laughs> are you a Packers fan? You can't ma- hey, let him get there himself. We're we no, we, we going we to find out now, Mr. Smith. Are you a Packers fan? Because you said you're from Houston, so I don't know if you're a Texan. I'm from New Orleans. Oh, you're from New Orleans. But you just lived in Houston. Yeah, I've Houston. Oh, okay. Yeah. So are you a, a, a Saints? A Saints fan? Well, I like the Packers too. Okay, you know. See, Lil that's Wayne. a good yeah. answer. Well, well, Lil Wayne's from New Orleans. You, you like yeah, the Packers, like, so maybe Packers. you could be like Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah, for sure. AJ, you jumping on board? No, nah, I, I mean I like the Packers. I mean I can. I'll definitely go to a game, but I don't watch football too much. But All my right. family does. Yeah, well. Uh, uh, t- Tyler, I can I can feel the uh, the real football energy. My advice would be go to a Packer game. They'll start and just just start t- chanting "Go Pack, Go, Go Pack, Go," just and then "Go ev- Pack, Go," just and then it's go, every pack, bu- go. Go, go, Pack, Go. I can't say go, it. Go, Pack, you say? Go. You just say you like the Packers. You, you, you sing that, everybody <laughs> in the state's going to love you. They'll love you. They'll love you. The New Orleans will be okay with it. They, they'll be okay with that. Uh, lastly, as we're uh, getting ready to be uh, done here with uh, A.J. Johnson and Tyler Smith, the newest Milwaukee Bucks here, and Kyle Bruston Ortman, uh, cheese curds. Had the chance to try one yet? Have you even heard of a cheese curd? Mm-mm. Oh, y'all don't. We That's gonna, on us. Th- my How friend, do we not have cheese? My curds? friends that brought them here, I know it may not be part of their uh, their diet. Their, their diet. But yes. Y'all got to slide the fried cheese curds. They got to get some of those fried cheese curds and get them some custard ice cream. Again, I, I got y'all. They gonna take care of y'all, but y'all cheat meal gonna be fried cheese curds and some custard ice cream. You'll, you'll thank good. us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I did not know what a cheese curd was either when I moved from Chicagoland to Wisconsin. But I tell you, when you have it, a little bit of ranch, you will be in heaven. And I know AJ, you know, is it just okay, we got to get a little more on yeah, you? I know no, you know that. Need it. Yeah, I'm yeah, definitely trying. We that. need lean protein too with that. Yeah, I know yeah, you know that. Sure. You said is it just a cheese curd, cheese stick? It, it's so it's like a it's yeah, like a cheese it's stick like a mozzarella small. stick, yeah. but like it's it's like this size. 
it's mozzarella sticks that are smaller. It is oh. delicious. You when you try, I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. Trust me on that one. Anything else you guys want to share about yourselves before we let you go to the Wisconsin audience? Uh, I would like to say one thing. I am happy to be a buck. All right. Yeah. That. Power. I am too. Yes. I am too. AJ Johnson, ditto's that. Well, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us here on Kyle, Bruss, and Ortman. And uh, I know you guys got to run to uh, talk to our, our friends over at 620 WTMJ. So enjoy the time over there, and thanks for coming on with us. Thank you for having appreciate us. It. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. A.J. Johnson, Tyler Smith of the Milwaukee Bucks here on Kyle, Bruss, and Ortman.